Hey guys, it's Cassie and welcome to Grapple. For those of you who don't know, every Tuesday at 3pm we're going to be uploading a video to our Grapple YouTube page. This video is going to be your Grapple lesson for the week, so make sure you guys tune in every Tuesday. As you would know, we're in the middle of our Easter series and the build up to Easter, so we're going to continue that series right here on YouTube. But before we get into today's lesson, I need you guys to go and grab your Bibles. So if you don't already have your Bibles, hit pause, go get your Bibles, and then come back and join us. Awesome, so hopefully now you all have your Bibles, and we're ready to start. So we're three weeks into our four-week series as we head towards Easter, and we've been taking the time to look at a few common things that is found during the Easter season. So the first week we talked about the need to empty the basket of our lives of the things that have filled it. The second week, we talked about the different attitudes and emotions that colour our lives. Things like anger, pride and envy. This week's lesson is called the new Easter outfit. So far, we've talked a lot about the negatives in our lives. Well, today we're going to be talking about the positives. Now that we've been challenged to get rid of some of the stuff, we're going to talk about the stuff that we should have in our lives. Once again, we're going to talk about a new Easter outfit. We're going to talk about the idea of what we need to put in our lives. So let's check out our key verse for today. Our key verse is Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 14. So for those of you guys who don't know, Colossians is in the New Testament. So open up the New Testament and Colossians comes right after Philippians. So Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. And then you want chapter 3 verses 12 to 14. And they say, Therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and dearly loved, put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a grievance against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, you are also to forgive. Above all, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. So that verse tells us that we have to close ourselves in six things. Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, and forgiveness. We have to put off the old clothes of the old life and are to put on the new clothes of this new life. So like a soft, comfortable pair of socks, compassion and kindness are the first set of things that we need to put on in our new lives. What does it mean to be compassionate? Well, compassion is taking the love that you have and have been given and then come to someone else. It is love in action. It happens through what? It happens through kindness. Do you think you can have compassion without kindness? Can you be compassionate without being kind? Or kind without showing or having compassion for another person? Let's think back to our last lesson. We talked about not letting anger or pride or envy colour our lives. Remember? The red, green and purple egg. Compassion and kindness can also colour our lives, but in a good way. Compassion and kindness, as I said before, are like a pair of socks. They're sometimes unseen, but they are very important. Paired together, compassion and kindness are used to comfort, heal, and to help. The next thing the verse talks about is humility and gentleness. So, what does it mean to be humble? Gentle. Once again, let's think back to our last lesson and the things that coloured our lives. One of the things we talked about was pride. Remember the purple Easter egg? Well, pride is the opposite of humbleness and honesty, not very connected to the idea of gentleness either. Humbleness and gentleness paired together are like a pair of gloves. Humbleness and gentleness are all about how we handle things in our lives and others around us. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 2, which says, With humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. 
once again the two things go together gentleness and humility why do you guys think that is can you think of some ways that gentleness and humbleness go together what would be some situations or experiences that they would work together think about your relationships with your family and your friends approaching each other with humility and gentleness has a way of diffusing bad situations hurt feelings and even anger in Proverbs 15 verse 1, the Bible says that a gentle answer turns away anger. Like gloves, these two things paired together allows us to handle things carefully and correctly. Finally, what are the last two things paired up? Patience and forgiveness. As we head into our final pair of things, let's think about these two words. Patience and forgiveness. Let's look back at our key verse that says, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you have a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Why would we pair these two things together? What does patience and forgiveness have to do with one another? Well, patience and forgiveness are like a good pair of shoes. Like a good pair of shoes, patience and forgiveness together can protect, support and also take you a very long way in life. Underneath them are our socks of compassion and kindness that become part of this new life that we're putting on because God is love kindness. He has forgiven us and he continues to be patient with us when we continue to mess up. We also have the opportunity in our lives to show compassion and kindness, to put on a new life filled with patience for others with whom we will continue to forgive. Now we're going to take a look at Romans chapter 2 verses 3 to 4. So Romans is also in the New Testament and it comes right after the book of Acts. So Romans chapter 2 verse 3 to 4 says, do you really think any of you who judges those will do such things yet do the same that you will escape God's judgment or do you despise the richness of his kindness, restraint and patience not recognizing that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance. These verses tell us that God is kind, patient, and tolerant with us so that we can receive forgiveness for our sins. That it's through God's continued patience with us that we are all able to come and repent. This whole time of year and the celebration of Easter is about God loving us and sending his son who humbly came as the gentle lamb to die for us. God then waits patiently for us to ask for that forgiveness. We are called, just like Christ, to empty ourselves of the junk of our old lives, change our attitudes and take off the old clothes of sin, and then put on a whole new Easter outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. I'm going to pray, and then I hope to see you again next week. Dear Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this time that we can have together, that even though we're not able to be together with each other, that we're still able to connect using different forms of media, Lord. We just pray as we go into this week that we just remember those six things that you asked us to clothe ourselves in. That as we try to navigate this new way of living, Lord, that we will just remember to be kind and compassion to others. Lord, we just thank you that you sent your son to die for us, that he humbly came to serve us. We pray that you help us to take off these old clothes and help us put on these new clothes. Lord, I thank you for every single grapple student, and I just pray that during this time you'll watch over them and that we can all continue to grow together in our faith with you and with each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'll see you guys next week, 3 o'clock.